house and I'm going to show you how easy it is to make your own hummingbird nectar and it's even better than some of the stuff you can buy in the stores. No dye, pure sugar and water, exactly what they need. So here I'm going to show you how easy it is to make hummingbird food at home fresh. A quarter of a cup of white granulated sugar. That's all you're putting in here is a quarter of a cup. Now you're going to put a half a cup of hot water. Hot water right now. So what we're going to do is melt the sugar. So the sugar will incorporate perfectly into the water. And look at that. Instantly, it's completely melted. Now you're going to top it off with a half a cup of cold water. If you can drink your water, they can drink your water. And that is it. You're done. You just made hummingbird nectar ready to fill your feeders with. This is it. It's a quarter of a cup of white granulated sugar and one cup of water. The reason I do half and half, half hot and half cold, is because I want the sugar to completely melt. So this way it's pure nectar. It do, you don't have to wait. It won't be cloudy and you can put it out. Make it the night before mix it all up, and then you can either leave it on your counter for the next day or put it in the fridge. This can store in the fridge up to a week in a container if you want to put just a little bit out, but that's all there is to it to make your own nectar. And you know what? It's fresh. And if you can drink your water, they can drink your water. So you don't have to use purified water because remember, they're drinking out of the sprinklers and they're finding water outside from our homes as we water our lawns and our garden. I hope I've showed you how easy it is to make hummingbird nectar at home. It literally will cost you pennies and there's no dye. They don't need to dye. It's not good for them and they're not looking for that. They're looking for the feeders. Believe you me, they know exactly what a hummingbird feeder is. With that, have a wonderful day and don't forget to eat what you grow. Bye-bye.